It's been about four years since Sony last updated their top of the line APS-C cameras. Four years in Sony terms is about an eternity. So it seemed like it was dead in water. Forgotten about APS-C. But now they've introduced this, the A6700, which has revived it. I mean, after all, four years, pretty much things are the same, aren't they? You know, trends and all that. So you're probably wondering what is new and also why are you riding hoverboard in 2023 let's not answer the second question so what is new it's pretty much the same look isn't it of course the a6600 had a flip screen it's just that before it had to flip up and you know people like oh no i can't vlog the microphone's gonna get in the way because uh, everything's all about vlogging isn't it hang on i'm gonna be doing a turn apparently <laughs> it flips this way which is more convenient when you put want to put a shotgun mic on the top like that it's not just a flipping screen to get excited about though, there's more to the A6700. Essentially it's an FX30 with a hybrid uh, camera body. FX30 is basically that with a slight extra bit on the back for vents. But when you look at it, it looks a bit thicker, doesn't it? Well, I don't know, it feels like it's thicker. They've got this slope on there. The slope's a bit unusual, you don't often see slopes on cameras. Sadly, not as svelte as before, but on the other hand, the grip has been beefed up, and with an overall B-bovine body, it provides for better balance with longer lenses. It looks like an A7C. Yeah, wait, 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 totally. <laughs> totally, it does. Because also, the SD card goes there now. Oh, yeah, yeah, just like A7C. So this is... You might as well get the price out of the way. I think it's uh, 1450 it's not priced the same as the FX30, and understandably the A6700 doesn't have all of the features of the FX30 either. It doesn't have the fan or full-size HDMI, but you could say that's because the FX30 is for video, and the A6700 is mainly for stills. So the single card slot might seem a bit of a shame, seeing as the competition has two, and this is a camera that would be good for taking lots of shots of quick moving things. So it's got a special AI processing for autofocusing, which I'm gonna let Locke test now. Uh, you're gonna have to film yourself I don't, I don't know how you can do it, but, you know, tough titties, really. Kim Jong vibes today. <laughs> By the way, almost forgot it got an EVF. The EVF is exactly the same as the A6600, which feels oh. a little bit, you know, four years, they could have at least changed it. No. Again, not a huge problem. It's just a shame when Fujifilm has uprated and upsized their viewfinder. Anyway, let's start off nice and easy with autofocus tests. 11 FPS. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Um, perhaps that's a little bit too easy. Anyway, with the A6600, there was real-time AF with animal eye AF. The A6700 has real-time recognition AF with AI processing. It's simply better at subject recognition, fronts of trains, aircrafts, cars, animals, insects, and of course, humans moving really slowly on silly two-wheel things. There's something Is weird. that buffer it's stopping? Yeah, it's supposed to have a really large buffer. Yeah, it's supposed to be 1,000 JPEGs. I feel it's funny like trying to test Sony's autofocusing like we all know it works they're, they're using the same kind of ingredients from one of their other cameras so it just works it's always great when features go downstream in a product line without being watered down the A6700 has that AI processing unit and the Bion's XR processor of it bigger bro but you get 11 FPS with AF and auto exposure so that's all right yeah it's all right. I mean, buffer has apparently gone up. The 11 FPS is the same as the A6600 and 26 megapixels. Well, it's just fine these days. But sorry, Sony, just saying, the X-T5 does do 15 FPS at 40 megapixels. Hmm. Although perhaps where the Sony will shine with the AF system is with swift, unpredictable moving subjects. <laughs> no, not lock. Serious now? I'm actually tying your stool legs. Yeah. We've got a ball, we've got a frisbee. Let's test out the camera and test out me as well. <laughs> you have to be the goalkeeper and chase me at the same time. It is mighty fine for tracking subjects, even when the subject goes from full body to having their face cropped off. So Sony's latest blend, their latest focusing system. It keeps following and focusing no matter what. It's performed pretty good. As expected. <laughs> <laughs> but how does it compare to Fujifilm? Oh. 
The Fuji is quick and keeps up well, but this is their flagship camera. It's more expensive than A6700. <laughs> It looks like it works. <laughs> well, I hope it works. I mean, if I'm, if I'm using it, it feels like similar. The X-T5 has pretty much the same focusing system. I think it's supposedly not quite as quick when it comes to tracking subjects as that, but quite similar. That's what Fujifilm says anyway. Oh, well, no, because at the event, they had stick insect to test the autofocus. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Anyway, the A6700 has had a noticeable step up in AF performance over the A6600, which is good. But the A6700 feels a lot more refined with subject detection and tracking. It's as good as any of the top APS-C cameras, if not the best. But that's really what separates the Sony from the Fujifilm, is the autofocus for video. Oh, and by the way, it has got a little dedicated selector for video to stills. And also on the non-mod front, the front dial is programmable. There's a record button, AF on button, and side C1 button. But anyway, back to the video autofocus. They're both quick, although in my opinion, the Sony has the slight edge when it comes to subject tracking. It's not just about the speed, because the Fujifilm, it's quick. And I've used it for vlog, it's just that it's not that smooth or particularly accurate. It still sometimes does that pulsing thing, the focusing on the background. In terms of continuous autofocus for video, Fujifilm still isn't up there with the Sony. But you know, if we're comparing the X-T5 to the A6700 for video, I'll probably pick that. For stills, I'll probably still pick the Sony because it's got more compact lens choices. But for video, I've got the FX30, and that is the problem I have with that. It's just too similar to the FX30. I do appreciate what Sony is doing, they're offering up a whole load of cameras and lenses to choose from, but recently they've been doing a lot of, let's take this camera, maybe take something away and add something back. Boom, new camera. With the A6700, let's just take the FX30, um, take away the full-size HMI and a fan, and then put back a viewfinder, which was there in the A6600. Anyway, boom, new camera. And that's perhaps what Fujifilm has done well with their lineup. The X-T5 is aimed at still shooter, and it feels like it. It's got more resolution. Then there's the X-H2S and the X-H2 that look the same, but have more obvious different benefits for stills and video shooters. You know, four years on, things change fast in the tech world. You would have expected the stills features to change a little bit more than two more megapixels, improved AF and improved auto white balance and auto exposure. It's probably not enough to make A66 owners trade in their cameras just yet. Ultimately, the A6700 is a very good camera. It's just surprising that after four years and after Canon released their R7 and Fujifilm released their X-T5, they haven't really made a bold statement with this. It could have been a catch up with us then camera, but instead it's more of a catching up with the others kind of camera. And that is surprisingly not very Sony. Well, it's a huge shout out to Adorama, this channel's official affiliate partner. For all your photo gear needs, they have everything from cameras and lenses to lighting, computers and even gaming stuff. You can also check out the US pricing on the ZV-1 too because I don't have it. So please do click through in the links below to head on over to Adorama. But these days, you've got Fujifilm. Oh, oh, oh shit. Whoa, man. Whoa, that's my Keanu Reeves moment. Whoa. I think they should have either gone for the juggling, gone for something like the X-H2S or the X-H2 <laughs> or at least something as impressive as the X-T5 I mean, X-T5 probably uses Sony sensors so why not do a, a 40 megapixel crop sensor camera maybe maybe, maybe in, a, in about two weeks time they're going to announce the 40 megapixel uh, APS-C camera <laughs> Can you smell smoke? It smells like burning. I'm doing the hard work. There's no card in there. <laughs> you, you go find a card. Rolling. Look at this, what have we got here? There's a very subtle machine here. Can't believe people actually call these hotboards still. Can't believe people still use them. Can't believe I bought one. It's <laughs> 2023. Let's switch on, shall we? Oh, okay, yeah. I definitely don't want to draw attention to myself. Not, not one of my more sensible purchases. I thought it'd be cool for this video. 
not very cool because most of it has been spent just shagging the fence so far. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Shizer! Oh, oh. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I'm being forced into the fence. I'm, I'm actually shagging the fence now, and it's not me. I haven't got a, a weird fetish for fences. I, I'm the, I look like I'm doing exercises. That's what I'm doing. Oh my god! Didn't know my body should twist like that. <laughs> this is one thing that differentiates this with the FX30, apart from the fan. Oh my god, I'm shagging. It's, it's magnetic. It's, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh that was a big one. Oh no, oh no, I can't have children again. Oh dear, oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the fence. Oh my god, the, the, the fire, the fire service is gonna have to, oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh, hello. So anyway, he's 6700. <laughs> it's reaching climax. <laughs> I'm shaking the pins. <laughs> okay. Yeah, new. Uh, it's easier for the viewers if it's not upside down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to see you get on one of these then. <laughs> <laughs>